You're listening to Devil in the Detail and this is your Big Match Review. Is it, is it? I'm red now. Right, off you go. Right, team news for today. Sulphur Red Devils need Wakefield Trinity Wildcats. Sulphur start with Gaz O'Brien at fullback, Nia Levels, Josh Jones, Junior South, Daniel Vidder, Rob Lewis, yeah, Michael yeah, Dobson, Craig Cockjack, Logan Tompkins, George Griffin, Ben Murder Masala, Wella Racky, and on the bench for Sulphur is Mark Flanagan. On the bench, sorry, is Ryan Lannan, Adam Warren, Jake Bibby, and Phil Joseph. Strong side that ball? It is a strong side, yeah. I'm surprised to see Josh Jones in the centre there, you know, I think he's really into the. Uh, Yeah, Wakefield start with Max Howard at fullback, Craig Hall, Bill Dupuy, Joanne, Ben Jones Bishop, Jones Bishop, ex-Red, Jacob Miller, Liam Finn, Nick Scruton, Michael Celo, Anthony England, Danny Kerman, Anthony Tupu, and on loose forward is Tinu Arora. On the bench for them is Michael Simon, Matty Ashurst, Chris Aiken and Scott Anderson. You know, it's going to be a tough game, wait for full of uh, good players there. Finn, Ben Jones, Bishop coming back, it's going to be a test. I think they're good at halfback, aren't they, Wakefield? Uh, with Finn and uh, Jacob Miller. I mean, Jacob Miller had a good game as a new person in that drop goal for the party. He's been very well organised, bit of a good organised as well. Mm-hmm. It took some tough forwards, as like we said on the podcast, they're not the pushovers that they were last season either. So, it's going to be a very tough game tonight. I mean, I've got the 36 games team, but maybe that's a bit optimistic, but we've got to be careful with the game. It's half time here at the AJ Bell Stadium. Salford leading by 10 points to 4. Nia Level scoring our first try, finish, finishing brilliantly the corner after, after a great break from Michael Dobson. Uh, for the next set of six, Dobson sent Evels through with a thrilling break again. Passed back inside to Dobson and he gave it to Josh Jones and Josh Jones was caught just short of the line. So Salford there getting off to a good start. But after that, it's quietened down really. It's been a tight game, nip and tuck, few mistakes and that. Eventually, Wakefield built pressure, four sets of six on Salford's line. Salford's defended it, but eventually we did crack a few minutes later and Anthony Tupu went over. Uh, the kick was missed by Liam Finn and it was four points apiece. Danny Kerman was simbing for a trip on 35 minutes and then Salford knocked on the post and the chance was gone. But just before half time, Ryan Lannan has scored an absolutely outstanding try. Short shimmy of the hips and he's just gone through, side stepped through and gone 60 yards to score under the post. And uh, O'Brien's kicked the goal to make it four, uh, 10 points to four. Just on half time though, Michael Dobson with the hooter about to go, chipped over for Niall Evels to chase. Evels was taken out by Ben Jones Bishop. Jones Bishop's been simbing for a professional foul. Uh, Gareth O'Brien had to go for goal because the half time, half time hooter had gone. He did go for goal but missed it. So it's half time here at the AJ Bell. Salford leading by 10 points to four.
Well, it's been quite a second half here at the AJ Bell Stadium. Salford leading by 10 points to 4 at the uh, half time. But it's been absolute blitzkrieg in the second half. Salford coming out, storming out. Flanagan scoring under the post to put 16 points to 4 up. Ryan Lannan, the young kid, uh, what a try he scored. He, a little shake of the hips, a little shimmy, and he went 60 yards. Scorched down the pitch. Great try from Ryan Lannan. That put us 22 points to 4 up. And then Robert Louis raced in a couple of minutes later for three tries in five minutes for Salford there to give it a 28 points to four lead. George Griffin also went then went over, powering over from about 10 yards out, stormed over, reaching out to score to put us 34 points to eight up. Uh, and then we scored, uh, Wakefield got a try back through Ben Jones Bishop to make it 34 points to eight. The only, uh, the only poor thing in the second half was Gareth O'Brien went off a cheap shot from Jacob Miller and Gareth O'Brien's gone off, uh, you know, with a head injury so hopefully he'll be back next week to face William because he had another good game. Michael Dobson led us round the park again, absolutely tremendous leader Dobson, great performance from him and uh, Junior Sal got the, the last try against the Hooter had already sounded but Salford to a man kept the ball alive even with the Hooter going, they wanted that last try, Junior Sal dived over in the corner, Dobson missed the final goal of the game but it's finished 30, 38 points to 8, Salford took apart a, a good Wakefield side today. It was, it was good in the second half, you know, to, to get those those early tries. That's what's given us the platform for this win. So it's on to Wigan next Friday. Can't wait for that one. Another massive game. Finished here, 38 points to 8. Comprehensive, though. Yeah, we, we, we were good. Um, we're, we're confident. We're a, we're a good group. And, and I keep saying that. I know I keep saying that. But we're a good group. And if, if we have the attitude to defend, it, um, we, we play really well. Um, so it's how hard we're willing to work off the ball more than on it, really, that kind of gets us our results. And we've seen that against the team like Leeds when we played them down here as well. And, and the boys are buying into it and they're believing that in the day. And they come off at half time and they were saying they felt comfortable in day as well. We've just made too many errors with the ball, and then obviously second half we needed to just clean that up and we caught them early, which was good. Middles are very good today. Yeah, I think the, the middles had a point to prove. Um, I felt that they was overrun at Wakefield. Uh, they did really well on that. Ryan Lannan, young lad, he did well, didn't see that first try. And yeah, he's, he's got that in him. I said to him, when you get on there, you run at him. Does he, he scares the big lads, he doesn't train in here, he scares the big lads because he's got real quick feet. And um, he's athletic, so he, he just kind of glides across the the, the ground, really. Um, and and he, he gets into spaces what you don't expect him to get into, and then he comes through the other side. And he's going to try that against Wigan in the pre-season friendly. Um, we just want him to back his own ability. Lannan will tell you he's been working real hard on his defence. Um, his attack just kind of comes pretty natural to him as well. And so we just want him to back himself. Um, but it was like Gazelle Brown and Michael Dobson thought it was great as well tonight for us. I wish Yeah, I just spoke with him there, he says he'll be fine, so he's, he'd come off the um, obviously and he can go back on, but it's more of a precaution to not send him back on. Closing in on that top eight, aren't yeah, that, That's our end, that's what we want to get back into. We've all got them points, that's where we want to be, so we're, we're going to fight to, to the end for that. Cool. Yeah, that's great. Salt Salford win, 38 points to 8 against the Wakefield Trinity Wildcats. Great result, Paul. Oh, it's a brilliant result. Second half as well. The first half was a bit scratchy, really, wasn't it? You know, on a 10 4 up at half time. But the second half, that, those three tries in five minutes there, we absolutely blitzed Wakefield, didn't we? And uh, they had no answer to us, really. Yeah, great result. What about that Ryan Lannan try, that first try of his? What a step. Oh, yeah, it was quality. That. He shook his hips there, a bit, bit of a dummy and a bit of a step. And he showed great pace. He's like a, a winger there going through. He's 50, 50 yards out. Great, great pace. Great try. And he's going to be one for the future. But I think he's one for the present as well. He's playing really well. Good try. Yeah. You know, we played really well, I thought. Thought, you know, Wakefield going down to 11 men didn't really help us, to be fair. They were the better side in that period. But, you know, we came back and we, we saw the game out. We certainly did, yeah. I'd like to give a bit of an hats off to Adam Wall as well. I thought he was really spot on in the second half. He made a brilliant break there. And I can't remember who scored off that track. Was it, oh, who scored? Was it Lannan? So, great try um, from Ryan Lannan and Salford, you know, dominant throughout, Paul. 
certainly was in the second half, wasn't he? You know, Wakefield had no answers to us. You had two guys sitting in the bin, you know, one just before half time and then one after. Both rightly were sitting bin. One was for a trip and one, uh, the one with Ben Jones Bishop. I mean, right at half time, Dobson kicks it through there. I think if Ben Jones Bishop doesn't take Evels out, Evels would have scored, wouldn't he? Because it was great, great play. I mean, Michael Dobson tonight, for me, was absolutely outstanding. Yeah. Yep, yeah, Salford dominant throughout. Great performance, I thought. Josh Jones was fantastic tonight. Phil Joseph coming on at hooker, you know, it was great, I thought. Phil Joseph's distribution is fantastic. He can, I mean, he doesn't run from dummy half, he's not a, a, a hooker, but he's, he's passing, he's so accurate. He, uh, he played well tonight. Jones as well worked really hard and looked really dangerous, I thought. Yeah, great performance from Salford Devils today, winning 38 points to 8 here at the AJ Bell Stadium and the, uh, the cavalry charge for the 8s on Paul. It certainly is massive game against Wigan next week. We need to turn them over as well. Yeah, so don't forget to tune into our pop-up podcast where we talk about will Salford make the eight. So you can tune in. We can find us on our Facebook page and on the Twitter at DITDSRD. And you can tune in and have a listen and see what you think. So thanks for listening. I'm watching this little video and we'll see you on Wednesday. You're listening to Devil in the Detail and this is your Big Match Review.